My name is Clarissa Starnes, and I'm Executive Director of Hickory Museum of Art. Hickory Museum of Art is the second oldest art museum in North Carolina. We house an amazing collection of American art and are very engaged with our community, always interested in connecting with our local area and beyond. Art is a form of expression, and sometimes the expression that we have on the wall is exactly the kind that someone is looking to connect with. Everyone connects differently, and so whether it's a photograph or an oil painting, a sculpture or a piece of pottery, there's always something in the museum that you can connect with and feel included. We always allow a space for someone to respond to the exhibition that we have. And in those spaces, we get wonderful, wonderful things like notes that say, look for the light in the dark, or do what you love and always follow your dreams or every person is pretty no matter what. You can leave a note that someone will walk into that space and read and it may be the very thing that they needed to hear that day. We're so excited to be included with the Art of Compassion 2023 because compassion is who we are. Um, our mission is to bring people together and inspire creativity through the power of art. And that is about empathy and compassion. And so with this project, we have an amazing exhibition this fall starting August 12th called Ping Studio. And in that we are showcasing the fine art of a local tattoo artist named Ping. And she's a fine artist first, but she also uses the medium um, of tattooing on living canvases. And part of that is that she works and um, with people who are looking to heal from trauma, sometimes self-harm. She works with local therapists and receives referrals. And so there are a lot of people who walk into her studio looking for number one, an amazing piece of artwork, and number two, an opportunity to heal from a trauma or some kind of, of an event and move forward in their life. And we're going to have this exhibition showcasing her entire process. We'll have part of her studio downstairs that you can see where she works and then we're going to have living models who have her work on their body so that you can come in, engage with them, hear their stories. And I think there's nothing more compassionate than getting to deal one-on-one -on -one with somebody who is telling you their story because there's always a piece in that story that will connect to yours. I just wanted to say that here at Hickory Museum of Art, we are working always to create experiences for all people. Um, our shows rotate in a way that you're never going to know what medium you may see next. Um, but we are hoping that our experiences from top to bottom in all of our galleries are really in some form of expression that will speak to everyone. My hope is that in a world that seems to grow more divided every single day, that each of us can find number one connection with someone that we can feel seen and heard. And that also that we're reminded that when we do small things, small things like listen to someone or engage, that kindness really is the step toward changing the world.